YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, you have Maxwell Star somewhere down here. You have Mr. Gee from Beer Gee Reviews right here. And we have another beer to drink from the list of award winning Trafalgar beers from the Ontario Brewing Awards. Number two. Yes, right. this is Trafalgar's Raspberry Mint Pale Ale. It's unfiltered, it's 5% alcohol, and it looks like that. So, what do we have here? Ingredients water. Malted barley, hops, raspberry, mint, yeast. That's kind of what you'd expect. What was the ABV? Five. Five. Well, it said unfiltered, so let's give it a Weiss roll. Let's just be, uh... I have high hopes, because, uh, yeah. Do a Weiss roll. Good, eh? Well, I love the color. There's raspberries in there. Oh, yeah. Probably got more than I do. Definitely raspberries in that thing. You got floaters? A little bit of floaters. Easy. Quiz clear. Yeah, I see a couple of floaties. Just Woo! Like... Oh, my. Fuck. <coughs> Raspberry mint is definitely right. <laughs> Oh, man. That mint is so strong, it actually burns your nostrils. Oh, now, Bose Mint Beer, this is what it should have smelled like. No. Mint-wise. Yeah, mint-wise, it should have been like that. I'm not sure if the raspberry melts with the mints as well as I hope. No, you're getting that, uh, that sweet, smooshed raspberry scent. But, uh, and you're getting that big-time mint scent. And it almost smells like a hairspray when they mingle together. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I do get that. It's kind of like, you get the very tannic raspberry, you get the, the huge peppermint on that thing. And I'm not sure if they like go together well, it's just like very pungent in your nose. I'm They're guessing strong. they try to do like the candy, it's like you got peppermint, like the swirly, and then the red is like strawberry. So they try to do that, right? Let's try it. it smells right for what it is. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's interesting. I like it. Yeah. Raspberry sour. <clears throat> I have a raspberry ginger tea upstairs, and this tastes a lot like it. Um, it's basically that that raspberry tea mixed with a uh, peppermint tea, because you kind of get that that tea leaf bitterness on the background, getting a beautiful peppermint taste, uh, again, it reminds me of peppermint tea, and that raspberry taste doesn't taste as much like natural fruit as, uh, like, dried out fruit that's been rehydrated. Problem? No, it actually tastes okay to me. I don't, I, uh, you know what, the other beer that we've had from them, though, was, oh my god, amazing. This is, okay. This one's so-so. I get sour raspberry, a little bit of mint. Not much else. But again, the Bose mint beer, this is what it's supposed to taste like. It's you got Yeah, the you mint. actually get mint on this. You it's actually, actually do get it mint. actually yeah. is doing the minty like cascade across Straight your up. tongue. It is doing that it has that raspberry. cooling sensation through yeah. your mouth too. So I mean raspberry. Mint so raspberry. it comes down to this, right? Do you like the beer? I like it. Do you like the beer? Yeah. Do I like the beer? Yeah, it's okay. But did they do it right? Does it taste the way they said it would be? When they say a raspberry mint pale ale, what did you expect? Because b this basically is what I would expect. Uh, I would expect raspberry and mint, that's it. Pale ale, yeah, whatever. 
Yeah. That's I was just explaining the first part, and that's what I'm getting right now. So I, I like this. So to play the devil's advocate, okay. whether or not we like it, did they do it right? Well, did they do it right? I mean, they, yeah, they got a pale ale with, you know, pale ale is very bland, basic beer. Sometimes you get like bready. I don't get any real bready, and maybe that's masked by the mint. I do get lots of raspberry, very tannic raspberry. I get a little bit of mint. Um, it's very cooling, maybe not so pungent in the flavor, not very sweet. Um, but when it comes to actually making this in, into a pale, I would hope that maybe they would have a little bit of body to back that all up. And I find that yeah, it's it's just not it's not all there for me. Well, there you go. That's why I don't read the label. I smelt it. It tastes like the smell. What it is, that's why I like it. That's it. Okay, out of ten. Eight. Out of ten? Five. I'll give it a seven. I think it's solid. I could drink a bunch of them. So So a seven, five, and an eight. Um We actually seem to have usually two guys that are pretty close to each other and one guy that's off in most of these <laughs> reviews lately. And that's okay. <laughs> but because You yeah. you learn our palates that way. Yeah. From yeah. different beers. Anyway, thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Trafalgar. Over Fari, Abiento, see you soon. Bye bye. Mwah. Muy bueno.